Mount Rushmore, we talked about it. Because mm-hmm. this list of top 10, I mean, CMC, he gets a ring. He keeps it up with the 49ers. He could go down as one of the best running backs ever since he's been in the league with the Carolina Panthers. For your top four, your Mount Rushmore of greatest running backs in the history of the NFL, who's your top four? All right, I'll start uh, with number four, uh, Emmett Smith. And yeah. I know people would, you know, and it, honestly, it was kind of a struggle for me. I almost didn't put him on the list, but I can't, I can't not put Emmett Smith on the list because he leads, you know, the running back, running backs in every single category imaginable, three Super Bowls, all that MVP, all that stuff. I just didn't like growing up again. You know, we talked about Olympi- Olympians the other day and having a nostalgia attached, you know, to your childhood. I remember watching Emmett Smith, you know, growing up. And saying, like, yeah, I'm not that impressed. You know, like, I, he's got a great offensive line. He was a great running back. No question about it. But I just, I, I don't know. It, it, he wasn't my favorite, but he's on the list. Uh, you want me to go? Keep going? Uh, I'll go I'll go with my four first. I like okay. this. We'll go right. four by four. Okay. So you got Emmett Smith. Yeah. I put Adrian Peterson as my number four. Yeah. And this is pure, like, you said it, nostalgia, who I grew up watching. I remember how dominant he was at Oklahoma, but always snake bit. And there were the questions of his injuries and his injury history when he got to the NFL. But he literally carried that Minnesota Vikings offense. And from when he was a rookie 2017 to 2015, in my opinion, was the best running back in the league. And in those first few years in the league, 14 or more games played all but twice. Look at his numbers for his career, but... His career highs in a game has a single game rushing record, 296 yards. When I heard that, I thought it was fake because I missed the game. But no, he really did that. 296, 224, 212, 211, 210, 203. Obviously rushed for over 2,000 yards. I just think how insanely good he was. And when he had that 2,000-yard season, that is post-knee injury as well. The guy bounced back from a torn ACL, didn't miss a beat the next season, and once again was the best running back in the league. I think you put Adrian Peterson in any era, on any team, he would have been absolutely fantastic. He had a long career, but his dominant Minnesota Viking years were insane. I think AP is one of the best running backs ever. Yeah, I would agree with that for sure. I was a big AP fan. Great initials too. Yes, you can't deny that. (laughs) All right, number three for me, uh, Jim Brown. Now, it's, it's it's tough to... You know, sort of assess, uh, you know, these players that played back in the day because you didn't watch them play, right? I mean, all you have to go on, or you know, if you have a, a grandfather watch Jim Brown and you can tell you stories about it, or if you watch some old highlights or whatever, and it's 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 hard to sort of you know really judge based on the level of competition and you know all all this stuff. But I mean, he, here's here's you know the numbers to back it up: most rushing yards per game in NFL history, 104. Point three yards per game, a three-time MVP, the only running back to win multiple MVPs, uh, and an absolute legend, you know, an absolute legend of the game. So the Jim Brown uh, has to be on my list. I love that Jim Ra- Brown pick. For the number three for me, I went LaDainian Tomlinson. Again, someone I grew up watching. I'll never forget his 2006 season. Broke the single season rushing record for touchdowns of 28. Hit 31 total in that year. But then also, that season had 1,800 rushing yards, 2,300 yards from scrimmage, which is insane. And he had that 28 rushing touchdown season in 2006. But from week 4, 2004, to week 5, 2005, he had a touchdown in 17 straight games. For that record-setting season and that run to not be attached or overlap at all shows how insane he was. And he had 24 touchdowns over that 17 game span no running back since he had 28 touchdowns again in 2006 has broken 20 in a season and he did that over a 17 game span he did it in 16 games in 2006 he was just one of the best football players i've ever seen play we know how quick that drop off was but that mvp season for him how good he was for those chargers all those years lt is my number three love the face mask too love that uh the lt face mask uh number two for me walter payton sweetness uh second most rushing yards of all time super bowl champion power speed had the whole package and the cool thing again i didn't get to see him like i was you know when the patriots played the the bears in the super bowl i was six years old um so i don't remember much of walter payton but I do remember when I was like seven years old, I think, I got a pair of kangaroos, uh, the sneakers. I don't know. You're not familiar. No, Dude, no. look it up. The roos were 
awesome. I know that there are people behind the scenes right now producing this podcast uh, that know what, what what I'm talking about. Look up the ruse, man. They were Shoe- they were sick. Shoes with pockets. Yeah, dude. Right. You could put like a penny in the tongue pocket or something, but they were sick. <laughs> They were sick, dude. I, I wouldn't be surprised if those things made a comeback. Talk about retro. Like you talk about the high tops again. one? You had the oh yeah, vintage yeah. nineteen eighty five. Thousand dollars on eBay, Adam. That's nothing, you know. Yeah, dude. I might do it. You should have kept right, that pair. These are these these have been around, I feel like. I forget there's some weird sneaker brand you could get at like Pac Sun or Zoomies. Yeah, these were ahead of their time. Not my style, yeah. but you know what, Adam? Yeah. If I if I was a kid in nineteen eighty five, I would have loved the ruse as well. Did Walter They're Payne make sick. wear them? Did he wear them? He wore Ruse. Yeah, he had a Got contract it. with Ruse. Ah, I see, I see. Okay. I have Walter Payton as my number two as well. And obviously yeah. someone oh, that nice. never never watched him play, looking up his numbers. This is what blew my mind. From 1976 to 1986, he had less than 300 carries just once. We're talking about guys yeah. that get gassed from having Thanks. not even 200 touches. He had over 300 carries all but once. Second all-time <laughs> rusher. The Bears had the defense, but he was the offense on that 1985 team. Give credit to Sweetness, Walter Payton. And his his highlights where he'd carry the football with one hand, do those like long strides, breaking out of the hole to yeah. set up the defender too. I love he's one of my favorite highlights to watch. So Walter Payton is my number two. Who you got at one? I, I bet we have the same number one then if I see your four through two. Number one on the Mount Rushmore list of running backs. None other than Barry Sanders. The yes. reason why. I, as a high school running back, wore it number 20 because of the great Barry Sanders. Um, I mean, just <laughs> ridiculous. I don't even have to talk about the numbers. The numbers are great. Uh, but he just moved differently. Like, that guy could move laterally just as quickly as he could move forward. Like, it was unbelievable watching him break tackles, avoid would-be tacklers, and then the famous moment against the Patriots. I remember watching that live where he spun around Harlan Barnett. Like Harlan Barnett did like a three six two three sixties. Like just no idea where this dude was. Um, absolute legends. The best to ever do it. Again, Barry Sanders, my number one. Completely agree with this pick too. You watch the highlights. You watch his ability, and he got lost playing for Detroit, playing for a bad franchise yeah. with a lot of bad teams, like Megatron. Yes, you know, years and, later. And someone that left in their peak, like Megatron as well. But mm-hmm. you watch his tape, how shifty he is. Second all-time leading rusher in the history of the NFL. He has the numbers. He has the insane stats. But he did so much with so little. Like, you had Emmett Smith at four. An all-time leading rusher, and he's great. But also, he was on those dynasty, those dominant Cowboys yes. teams with Hall of Famers everywhere. Barry Sanders did not have that, and he was the greatest running back to ever play the position, in my opinion. I can't disagree with your one or your two. Great three and four as well. That's a great Mount Rushmore. I just think when yeah. you watch what Barry Sanders did in Detroit – with how bad the team was around him, it makes it all that much more impressive. And then you look at his numbers, and you are just blown away by the stats he put up. Adam Pellerin in twenty. What were you? What was your number as, as a catcher in high school and at the great Suffolk University? Oh, thank you for asking, George. Uh, I was fourteen in high school uh, behind the plate, and I was seven uh, in college. So uh, I like you know I, I liked uh, you know fourteen, but seven I, I loved wearing seven and twenty. You know, come on, Barry Sanders, baby. I wore that number in basketball too. Like you said, of a basketball player. Barry Sanders got you to wear twenty. For me, it was Wes Welker got me to play uh, wear eighty three.